beard with the beard like twine. Swears off wars and raids, fishing and wine. No more bait for a space, no axe to swing, just a love for the ocean, the joy that it brings. How we doing, chat? You weren't supposed to hear that, <clears throat> but the early bird does get the worm. Okay, let's see. Yes, we are indeed fishing over in. Uh, so I was going to turn that down just a smidge. We're fishing all the way on South Sea Sandbar. It's all the way out here. If you don't know what terrain I'm on, it is uh, south of Lapidus Isle and just north of Gillijam Isle. Going, going real custom with it today. Seems like it's a pretty quiet day out there, though. And that's fine. That's more time to fish for me. Hope everyone who's watching or joined has been having a good week. I've been doing a lot of uh, planning and thinking of fun new ideas for stream. Oh. There's nothing better in the game, though. Oh boy, it would be better if I actually caught that fish, though. Did I really not catch the fish? Do I need lures? No, that can't be. It was a misclick. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, that's the second time in a row it didn't let me catch a fish. Oh no, did I pick a fishing spot that doesn't work? That shouldn't be true though. Because I know for a fact there are fishing areas that work right off of Lapidus. Hmm. I only know that because I, um, I was scouting out zones and I saw fishing pools. Yeah, those are two dead cats. Let me double check just one more time. <clears throat> Hello, Shadow. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. I gotta make sure this is actually a viable fishy. Okay, okay, I got a lightning eel. So maybe... Uh, if I'm getting lightning eels, I might actually need lures. Did not expect that, but okay. We still gaming. Alright, I got plenty of night crawlers. I have bright baubles. I'll try night crawler, see if that makes a difference. Hello, Soul Core. Welcome to Fish and Chat. Apologize uh, if my voice my voice is still recovering from the cold I was dealing with last week. It's mostly be all better now. Um, if my voice sounds a little wet, it's because I've been, because I usually have a throat lozenge in. Hello, Ricky Kings. I might be a little difficult to find. Um, yeah, oh, I'm getting lightning eels. It's not the best. Um, Gilgamesh Isle, Lapidus Isle, I'm right between the two. 
This might be a place where you can only catch lightning eels, which is interesting. I've never, I've never really checked this area for fishing. I think this zone is a little bit level locked, because I, I think you don't get the flight points for either island until you're like a certain level, and then you just get them. I could be wrong, but, huh, well, that was a dead cast too. What's going on with this zone? Hmm. I'll give it a couple more. I'll wait till my lure is done, see what I get. Yeah, lightning eel. <clears throat> I have, uh... I've been experimenting with some, uh... Some AI generating, uh, music generating tools and uh, I might I might I might show off a little sea shanty I had made <laughs> it came out better than I thought I did make the I did make the lyrics apparently it can do lyrics which is great the voice the voices on the song still sound a little AIE but you know with AI, it's just a matter of time before it just gets better and better. Yeah, this is bizarre. I am getting either dead casts or lightning eels, which leads me to believe something's not right about this fishing zone. I would say it's just broken. If I... Yeah, see again, another dead cast. Hmm. All right, well, I see a fishing pool right there. I'm going to go over there. If I have this, right? This is a fishing pool. This sh this should work no matter what. But just because there's a fishing pool doesn't mean the water around it works. Wow, I wonder what they did. What did the team do? Did the team break something? Although, if I remember correctly, when they first released these islands, I don't think the fishing around them worked, or something about it was broken. They had to fix it later. The, tur the turtle wow way. It's also been a uh, pretty interesting week for the class council. As always, I cannot speak about what is <laughs> said in class council. I could talk about things that I propose. I can very generally characterize things about class council. But the reason I say it's an exciting week is we had a lot of channels, suggestions. Uh, we had, we had, essentially had a lot of... No fish are hooked. What is... Oh, boy. Um, sorry. We had a lot of... Uh, word back from the team we're having a lot more team involvement and we have some more tools at our disposal so i spent a lot of my spare time this week um it's mostly working on stuff with elemental shaman i had some uh fun proposals um and um there were some things that were announced about certain classes that were quite exciting, at least for the class council to hear. But a lot of work yet remains, so. Okay, fishing works here like normal. This isn't the best spot to fish in, but at least it works. <laughs> I, I think something's broken about what is that island here 
South Sea Sandbar. Something's broken over there. Okay, another dead cast. What is going on? Hmm. I really thought the Hmm. I might have to I might have to migrate a little bit. Is I think I'm between zones here and that's messing stuff up. Sometimes you got to do it, you know? You got to go where the fish are biting. Also, there's a guy over here named Fury Sword just killing stuff. I have actually, um, what the heck? There's just a mage here? What the heck? Also, this mage looks like they're trying to drown themselves. I wonder if they're, I mean, they might be a fishing bot, but if they are, they're a terrible one. Hello, Abdul Ghani. How's it going? I thought I had the fishing spot for the day, but um, it seems like because it's kind of between zones, I think it's having issues. So I'm just migrating a little bit north from where I first started. There's a nice little spit of land here maybe we can fish from. Um, yeah, what is that? This little spot here. That, that might be a nice spot for a beach party. <clears throat> I mean, it might as well get the oily blackmouth, but I want to fish over. Well, I, you know, I'm going to test over here first, make sure this area actually works. Also, I can swim a lot quicker if I want to. There we go. Now we got max fishing. Well, almost max fish, uh, swimming speed. You wish you could swim as quick. Oh, geez, there's giants on this island. That well, might be something fun to fight later. There's lots of fun stuff to explore here. Um, that's actually probably what I'm more excited about, even than fishing. Oh, what is this guy? Hargul the Hardy. Okay, well. Hargul? Tell me about the fishing here. Let's see if we can get the camera just right. The hard part about doing this is that I still, sometimes I'll right click and I'll turn my character around. I don't want that to happen. Okay, that was another dead cast. What is going on with the zone? Because because it's like, I'm not always getting, like when you get 100% dead casts, you generally, Something's borked about the fishing. Hello, Ivo. Evo. Evening to you, sir. And uh, it's afternoon for me over here in the fine states that are allegedly united. Allegedly. <laughs> I keep getting what? What is with this? Okay. If I, is it, do I have to be closer to the mainland? Is there some sort of invisible ocean border I'm not seeing? Okay, all right, all right, Evo. 4 p.m. where you're at, it's uh, just after noon here. So yeah, you're probably uh, Western EU. Okay, what if I fish from here? I, I don't relish anyone trying to find me. I bet you I bet you if I just showed you this, it would just be hard to know. Hello, Sandro. Oh, Iceland. You know, uh, I would, that's one of the few places I've actually... Well, I don't get out of the States very often, but I actually did go to Iceland a couple years back. I absolutely loved it. I want to move there. I live in uh, a region of the U.S. Uh, called New England, which is our northeastern um, corner, which is 
really tough winters. Um, it doesn't have the level of uh, a darkness that Iceland does, but I'm definitely com I'm definitely comfortable with the cold. But uh, I'm also a huge fan of seafood, so just like just being there was amazing. I uh, saw. I went whale watching with Murag. We did a uh, Northern Lights. Plenty of other tourist stuff, but uh, I enjoyed. Um, of course, I was in uh, Reykjavik. Uh, we had a we had a hotel there, and I, I had a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff we did. So I, we went hiking on a glacier, and uh, yeah, there's there's lots of fun fun stuff we did over there. Really, Soulcore? You haven't been to Antarctica? You kind of sound casual to me. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I've, I didn't go there in the winter. I went there in the autumn. Well, so like, what? It was October? It was October. <laughs> no, I did I mean, I try to resist some of the more touristy things, Alessandro, but uh, I don't. I don't think I would do that. I, um, I think probably like some of like the hidden highlights that I really enjoyed, and I know Murag enjoyed. They had this cool uh, whale museum that had these uh, life-size replicas of like what what whales like look like like life scale and there was a certain point when like i got to the um the sperm whale um the the right whale and the blue whale and like i literally just looked at them cuz like they're fully life size and i'm like that doesn't exist like this is just a joke like i they're like so massive in scale like you your mind can't really fully believe it even that that also exists on the same earth that I exist on I'd like to go back but I feel like if I go uh, outside of the US again for travel uh, probably it's probably gonna be either it's probably gonna be Germany uh, and that's partially because Murag knows a bit of Deutsch and uh, uh, I guess ancestry wise a lot of her family comes from there and a lot of my family comes from there so it'd be cool to go see what's that Murag? yeah Mur Murag has been but she, she hasn't been since since high school uh, and yes, Evo, the, the, the whale museum in Reykjavik, it, it was great. I also like the punk museum. Hidden, hidden gem. Yeah, that, that was really cool. You went off course on the ice caves. <laughs> Murag is reminding me that, uh, <clears throat> My penchant for adventure also extends to real life. Um, when we went hiking through, in, and or around the glacier in Iceland, I, I certainly, I certainly kind of just went my own way. Now, obviously, the people in Iceland are fantastic. Many of them know English because it's way easier than their language to learn. But, uh, so I can't say it was because, like, of a misunderstanding. It, it was a situation where there was, like, a dozen or so people in our group. The fabulous tour guide had the mistake. He, he made the mistake of saying, up there is where we'll probably be 
because, you know, obviously glaciers slowly melt over time. They have to check them for stability, and there's a lot of um, seismic activity there, so they, they have to be really careful. But as water runs through it, like, new caves are made. And so he said to me, he said to the group, up there, and there's, like, a big ledge that you could kind of climb up on, but he's like, yeah, that's where, like, the new cave will probably be next year. And I essentially waited for him to turn around, and I climbed up there and started walking around. <laughs> uh, he was not he was not thrilled with that development. But I told him, all I told him is like, listen, I'm Vrograg Fishlayer. Do you know who I am? Not really. But I like I like exploring and panicking, Murak. <laughs> <laughs> um Al Alessandro you're not wrong by the way I would say describing cephalopods like squid cuttlefish octopi stuff like that you are literally describing aliens those things are very different than a lot of the, the rest of biology um, for anyone looking for me, I'm hard to find. Uh, right now, I'm southeast of Lapidus Isle. Oh, would you look at that? Wisebeard found me. Hello, Wisebeard. Yes, yes, you did. Can you let me know what your fishing situation is here? Because I'm getting, like, I'm getting catches, but then I'm also getting dead catches. Also, no... Also known as Shadow. Oh, that's you, Shadow. Hello. Yeah, I I, I wish um, it was a bit more seamless for people in YouTube chat to just change their handle while in my chat. So then I would just know who they are in, 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 uh, in game. But... So, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also, I just, I just want to put a bow in this. Alessandro, like, I cannot fully describe to you how insane it is how big those whales are. Like, it's one thing to just say, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's you know, this... Well, I'll use freedom units, of course, because I'm American, but, like, oh, it's this many feet long, and it's, th it's this heavy... And like, it's sort of, it's a little bit like when a scientist tells you something's happening this many light years away and like your brain can file away that information, but like fully grasping how big that actually is, is kind of on the, that's way outside the, what humans can kind of fit in their brain. And I feel like whales are sort of the same thing. Like the really big ones, it's just like, Nah, like that, nah, that just doesn't, you can see it and it still doesn't feel real, if that makes any sense. <laughs> well, yeah, but remember, Alessandro, because, uh, because America exists, when you say football, I mean, you're already, again, you're using two different units. Is it American football or is it, you know, football in everywhere else in the world? Sixty football players stacked on top of each other. I think the football players in the U.S. are are generally taller, but that's because they have to try to like kill each other all the time. <laughs> it's a very violent sport. It's no, it's no rugby, mind you, and it's not just straight up you know ufc what what is i this this is this is this fishing is driving me nuts guys i don't understand it's not even i catch sometimes the dead catches aren't saying hey you sprung your trap too slowly and it's not saying my 
uh, my fishing level's too low. It, they're just straight up dead catches, which is weird because the way the the way fishing works when it's borked generally is that like you catch nothing. So when I see a dead catch, oh man, I'm going to be making a bug report, aren't I? I'm going to be making a bug report. A soul core. I don't know if you were here. Uh, I think last stream, I had a diatribe about metric, um, which which is to say that uh, I would personally love to use metric for like ninety nine percent of things. The only the only spot where I prefer, uh, I guess what they call it imperial standards because it was like first brought over by the British to the US. Uh, I, I actually prefer Fahrenheit as a description of climate and atmosphere. So like when you're talking about the internal temperature of a home for like a thermostat, when you're talking about the weather outside, when you're walking around, is it gonna be a nice day, a bad day? That is the only spot where I prefer it. And I only say that because it's generally a scale of like zero to a hundred, like zero is very cold. A hundred is very hot. Um, because Celsius is based off of the melting point of water and humans though made in many ways of water, uh, 100 Celsius is outright deadly to us. Whereas a hundred Fahrenheit is like, you're sweating, it's hot, it's uncomfortable. You know what I mean? So I think for that for that reason alone, that's the only Imperial system that I'd want to keep. Everything else I'm I'm on board with. It it really is just a better system. Yep, exactly, White Spear. But uh, again, like uh Part of it is just that, oh, hello, Thalaria. I, Thalaria, I know you'd find me. You could probably also cheat a little bit because you're a hunter. Everyone forgets, hunters can track, like, humanoids. They can track hidden, I think. They can track, I think, every mob type as well. Stream sniping. Well, it's not stream sniping when I'm inviting people to come out fishing. <laughs> also, I want you guys to report, are you also getting dead catches? Which is to say, you're getting successful casts, like you're clicking at the right time. It's not saying that you were too slow, and it's not saying your fishing skill isn't high enough, and it's just giving you nothing. Yeah, oh, thank you, Anna Real. You did, um... You did mention that, and I appreciate that. Uh, that is something I was going to look into. Let's see, uh, let me check something real quick. How we doing on the old? All right. So I have something, I have, I, we have enough people here. I want I want to surprise you guys with something I've been working on behind the scenes. Um. I mentioned it a little bit before. Anyone who was like here right when stream started, uh, you you heard me play it. I didn't realize I had desktop audio still on on my stream. Let me see if I can uh, show some of this. What if I do that? Oh, where did that just go? I have no idea where that went. Okay, anyway. Let me turn off VLC for a second. All right, VLC is off. So I have been using a AI tool. <laughs> Get ready, everyone. To make um, what I would call like, like a, like almost like a sea shanty, like a folk song for Vrograg. I don't know where I want to use it. Uh, I want you guys to give a listen to it. I think I think this is the good version. There's a lot of different versions. Let me uh, revert it back here. I did all the lyrics. AI machines did everything else. Vrograg. 
the orc with the beard like wine Swears off wars and raids fish and wine No war paint for his face, no axe to swing Just the love for the ocean, the joy that it brings Puts his worries at ease Nets on fallen lines take flight Fish and tails are swapped Beneath the golden light Evo, me hearties, yo ho Cast a line and let it flow Throw flags on the deck With a mug of bell Grinnies, and now this next tall tale Sunrise paints the sky a salty breeze Program times a joke Puts his worries at ease Nets up the lines take flight Fish and tails are swapped Beneath the golden light Evo, me hearties, yo ho Cast a line and let it flow Throw cracks on the deck With a mug of bell Grinning and spit now This next tall tale No woman's story here No battles to be won Just a bomb to friends That's that is wild that I could have AI make that. Yeah, th th there definitely is some AI artifacts in in the music and the lyrics, but like that took me. Well, like the lyrics probably took me way longer than than the actual song generation. But that's that's nuts, right? I, I, I it's it's not like just me. Like that's what a time to be alive that. I could just say, hey, computer, make a thing for me, please. I, exactly. I have, uh, I had some, uh, I had some throwaway versions that I didn't like. So, I mean, it definitely, um, it definitely, you know, wasn't perfect the first time around. Um, I've been having like, <laughs> I've been having like a struggle with, uh, just how like, music copyright works and like trying to make content um if anyone watched my last news episode i talked about this a little bit on the uh stream following the news uh this week but <clears throat> mark antius who sometimes drops by for stream and is a member of clickers made this amazing like really good looking ad for clickers and he used a website to uh there's a website that had like royalty free music and it was great and i checked it i'm like okay it says royalty free like it shouldn't be a problem and then of course the second i uploaded it it was a problem because although uh, royalty and copyright are two different things evidently and mind you the ad was 30 seconds and the music played over it for like 20 of those 30 seconds in a 20 minute video and because of that youtube's like uh yep yeah, sorry you can't get any ad revenue uh and uh, the person who made the music now don't get me wrong you should totally pay artists for making stuff they make superior products i think you should you should pay artists but the problem i sort of have is when i i'm just like when you just want background music for something like, what's going on? Like, you can't... Okay, because I played background music over a production, every single ad set you ever make from something belongs to that artist. I'm like, if I had, like, an easy way to just, like, give them, like, a buck, I would. If you guys... You, I'm sure you'll see, like, me post... Um, let's see if I have it here. Something like this. This is made by Riddle of Lightning, uh, who does doodles for the stream like 
I, I, I pay him a couple bucks for those. And I'm fine with that. If I could pay a person a, a buck or two to like, hey, I'm just I'm just using it for background music, no big deal. Like I'm not like even, and it's not something where like I'm reviewing it, and I'm not like I'm not playing like Billboard's top 100 songs either. So so part of that frustration made me maybe look deeper into like what people are doing to get around these annoying algorithms and copyright laws. And uh, someone let me know about uh, an AI tool used to make music. And then, um, as I was looking into it, they're like, "Oh yeah, it can make so it can make songs with lyrics." And I'm like, "Nah, they can't be that good." So I st I wrote up like a sea shanty for Vrograg, and then like the first time I did it, I'm like, "Holy crap, that's good!" And I'm like, "Well, okay, I'm sure there's some sort of like back end, like they'll get you somehow." And they're like, no, uh, if you make it, you own it, which sounds bizarre to me. And that, that sounds like something where like, okay, I, I clearly don't have a music studio in my, in my home. And a lot of the sounds and mixing in the song you just heard definitely sounds professional. Parts of it don't sound professional, but it's sort of a weird spot where it's like, if you want to pay a human to do something, it's hard to pay for like what fit what uh, to pay a fair price for something that you're trying to use. Whereas it's cheaper to just have a robot take thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of songs and kind of amalgamate them and then just kind of make an approximation of what you want. Like it's weird, right? It's it's a weird world to be in. But, uh, yeah. So I guess, I guess, uh, Vrograg has a, a fishing theme song. Anyway. Oh, probably don't need to see. What, what is this one? Oh, that one's just that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I had my UI turned off. I had <laughs> red handed was whispering me. It was funny. It's just like Lapidus Isle. <laughs> he isn't happy that I'm all the way on Lapidus Isle. Yeah, it is a pretty remote spot to get to. You're fine, red handed. And, and you know what, Riddle, I'm not even, I'm not even fully disagreeing with you that AI art is art theft. As someone who, I, I won't ever say what I do is art, but um, as someone who makes things, I would say we don't have a good system. I think that's the problem. People who make things... Sorry, let me actually get some music. <laughs> I just realized I didn't have any music playing. There you go. Um, so... I think part of the problem is like, we don't have a good system to pay people for their work. Um, when people use them. So I, I can only talk about it in the context of like what I do. So I, I would like to, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen like my derpy little graphics I'll make every now and then for like something for the news. A lot of times I'll just do a Google image search, search for something vaguely related to it. And I'll just grab that, put it on a PNG and throw it up in the news. Now I didn't make that image and I would argue that's probably not that harmful, but I'm generally trying not to use someone's art they've they've made. I'm generally trying to find other people's screen grabs um, or like clip art. But if someone takes the time to make a really nice image, I, you know, I would I would like to be able to give them a buck or something, you know, for 
I, I, at least in the context of what I do, I just think it would be better if I had a way to to thank those people. Know who they uh, also knowing who they are is difficult. Like unless like an artist puts a gigantic signature all over their their image, it's hard to tell. And with music, it gets even more muddied because if an AI bot makes a a chord progression, well, more than one artist has made that chord progression. Okay. And I don't know tons about music, right? And if an artist makes a melody and an AI makes a similar melody, like where where does where does that sit? And okay, let's say someone like me who wants to I'm like okay, well if the AI used stuff to scrape a bunch of music, all right, well then I think those companies that have the AI should charge me and then use that money to pay the artists. Now I'm I'm not talking like gigantic sums of money. But much in the same way that like how plays work on Spotify, they wouldn't see a lot of money because like if, if you make a song and a song somewhere else in the world uses like, you know, one ten thousandth of a percent of your song was like used in the making of another song, like, okay, you're not, I don't think it would be fair to say you should get all the ad revenue, but you should get paid something and you should be credited. But even for me, someone who tries to be a responsible creator, I don't have any way of crediting because I, I can't ask the AI like, Hey, like which artists did you blatantly steal from to make this music? And it's, it's, it's contentious too. Um, everyone knows my, uh, uh, hold on. I'm just gonna, this image here, that image right there, uh, there's a bigger version, but, uh, that image ha was made by a, uh, uh, a guildmate of mine, Koyu. Um, and he's, he does very detailed portrait style work and he does amazing work. And I, 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 I love hearing about his story and his process. He made that that portrait of Vrograg for me a long time ago and I love it. It was one of the reasons I got inspired to do what I do like now. And when I hear him talk about AI uh, visual arts and it's very discouraging, like because of that, like it, it actually helped inform a lot of how I feel about AI because if someone like Koyu is being hurt by AI that much, like, you know, he's not like a, you know, some huge well-known artist. So him trying to get a little extra money is basically off of commissions. Right. And, and that's just making him do that, uh, trying to do that, that much more difficult. Like I kind of want him to be able to continue his passion. Hacks or you missed, you missed the best thing. You missed uh, an AI theme song <laughs> about Vrograg. I'll, I'll, hold on, wait a second. Let me check the thing here. The way this AI works is that it, uh, hold on. Yeah. So when you, when you give it a prompt and the lyrics and all that stuff, it actually makes two versions of the same thing. No, no, no. Haxer, it's okay. I have, <laughs> there's a second version of that song. I haven't listened to it. Hold on. Let me see. I'll do a poll. Um... Want to hear the other AI Rograg theme song. If if everyone in stream wants to hear it, you can listen to it live. I haven't I haven't listened to it. 
I listened to the first one. I'm like, oh, this is this is good. I'll I'll use this for stream. Uh, you know, uh, sorry. I realize I have no music on again. I'll wait for the poll to finish, too. Um, you know, Th Thalaria, um, I see your, I see your, your say chat thing, and, you know, you, I, I assume you're speaking in, in good, uh, in good faith here, right? Um, if you have listened to music your whole life and someday you make something yourself, does that mean every artist you have listened to deserves a share of your work? Um, no. I think what that means is, is when you get interviewed about your music and someone asks you, who are your inspirations? You could tell them. I can't even do that with AI tools right now. I can't say, hey, you made this song. Um, who, who like, uh, like what sort of musical artist inspired this music? Because then I like, I'm talking like, this is minimum effort from AI companies. You could just tell me who inspired the music you made. So then I could literally then, you know, if you link them, I can look them up and maybe listen to their music, maybe pay them or just like enjoy other music. Like that's, that's a win-win for everybody. And that's not even, that's something that AI is not even doing yet. Um, humans also work on a different scale than AI. So I think that's kind of where that argument falls apart a little bit. I'm not saying it's not uh, part of the, the larger thoughts I think people can have about AI. Uh, I think in general, um, I hear that bandied about a lot with AI where it's like, well, you can't copyright inspiration. No, you can't, but AI isn't inspiration. AI is taking, has everyone seen office space? And you remember that we're like, they get in trouble and they're like, we're not stealing. We're just taking a penny from the, from the take a penny, leave a penny jar, except we're doing it, you know, millions of times. Uh, yeah, Th Thalaria, exactly. I, 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 I'm, Star Trek did prepare me for this. All right, let me see. I'm, I'm checking the poll now. All right. All right, 80, 82 percent wants to hear the other version. To, to the people that voted no. Um, I don't know. Mute, mute, mute stream for a couple seconds. All right. And I think this is this might this might sound very similar to the other one too. I have no idea what it sounds like. Take flight, 
Fishing tales are swapped beneath the golden light. Heave me high seas. Jo-ho, cast a line and let it flow. Roll rags on the deck with a mug of veil. Grinning and spitting out his next tall tale. I don't know if I like that one anymore. Eh, it's kind of borderline. That AI certainly chops up the words a lot harder on that one. It's, uh, I like the tempo of it better. It, the, exactly. I think that's more of my observation here. It is very uncanny. And, you know, I, I also appreciate everyone keeping chat respectful. Um, and I also respect people that are artists, whether they're musical or visual. Um, remember, like, I I'm, I have a BA in English and I've done a lot of writing. So, like, um, I'm not saying what I do is, is creative writing a lot, but I, I also am affected by AI writing stuff. Now, I think one place where I would ally myself with the artists is that just because it's not as good right now doesn't mean it's not something that we should be concerned with. I don't, I would say concern more so than worry. And I know those two words are kind of synonymous in some ways, but something to keep an eye on because, uh, <clears throat> I think like really early on when I was doing Frograg news, I, I tried using AI prompts just to kind of fill out some of my scripts and I would spend longer editing them than I would just writing the script. So I, I know at least for me and what I'm trying to do, uh, AI writing tools aren't, aren't as good as a human. And regardless of what happens, I think even if AI gets really good, you're still going to need a human to look at stuff. So, yeah. Well, th that's kind of what I was going more so for Haxer. Is this like, I, I was just looking for like background music to play under streams, under videos. Where like, it's inconsequential anyway, really, what's playing. It's more about setting mood and theme. And I do think that is part of generating art. And I think those artists who do that should still get credited. And if you look at any one of my YouTube videos, anytime I use music, I always credit. I use um, the guy, uh, uh, he's on In Contact. He makes a lot of music. You'll he Once you like know his music, you'll hear it all over YouTube because he does royalty and like uh, copyright free music that anyone can use as long as you credit him um like the, like the news theme that i have like that like he makes that like 95 percent of the music i use for like my news broadcasts is is his stuff <laughs> i wish i wish i could just make ai write an essay for you about a topic but there's there's a number of things right um Specifically for a journalist, I did check the ethical guidelines. If you use AI tools to help you help augment writing or just write something at all, um, there are a number of ethical disclosures you need to put. Um, and for anyone who's old enough to remember the early computer Wild West, Oh, there was a world before there was like even really effective or even existing spell check. Um, there was even discussions in like ethical journalist circles back then about like, do we need to disclose if we use spell check? Of course, that's that's a whole, like obviously that's on one side of the spectrum because that's it. That's that's machine assistance for writing and. I think on the other extreme, for, at least for writing, where you just like, hey, uh, uh, 
write a news prompt for me for for a show and then i just read that um i've definitely again i've tried it but i just i just didn't like the results so i just didn't use them <laughs> and uh yeah i think a lot of it comes down to well, with a lot of things uh, what what is your intent if um, you're trying to present yourself as as an artist of some kind and you're just using AI, I think that's disingenuous. And I, I don't think that's controversial. Um, what if you're using is trying to be supplementary to, to what art you're trying to make? I think that changes it too. Um, it's kind of a nuanced topic and in a way, I'm glad I'm not in my teens or my 20s and I'd have to be all fired up and angry about it. I could just be older and be like, yep. Uh, what are these kids thinking next? And for anyone curious, the background music playing right now is uh, the full soundtrack from Real Wild Fishing, Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> Unironically, some of the best music to fish to. I, uh, Haxer, I've thought about it, but, uh, sorry, Haxer says you should, uh, ask Volca to make a theme song for you. Uh, Volca's, uh, one of the composers for the Turtle Wow team. I should. I don't know if I can afford his work because he does really good work. <laughs> um, I might, honestly. I know he's he's definitely offered it, but um, also, uh, Haxer, do you think there'd be any issue if I showed off some of my icon artwork? Because I I don't think, I mean I I did make that right, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue, and I don't think there's anything official about it okay I have uh, s speaking of art and now there's not really a good segue for this hold on let me finish up this cast um, I know I brought up the topic uh, recently it was probably on my last stream I did right after the news I was talking about how some icons overlap with each other a lot um, I've been working well, I, you know, after pointing this out sometime before that, um, I'm a strong believer in if you can do something to make the, a community you're in better, just, just try to do the thing. It's very easy to complain about something and it's harder to try to fix something. Um, so I actually offered my very robust, I would say, <laughs> uh, mu music, no, not music, uh, not music, uh, artistic skills I'm gonna show off a bunch of these okay oh well, that's I mean they're it's just not gonna look good <laughs> it's just not gonna look good um. <laughs> it's just on your screen just looks like someone crapped on your screen hold on let me see if i can get this a little bigger a little more centered okay this is all uh icons that i made variations of to make them more visually distinct i know that it's a little grainy because it's this is meant to be these are all 64 by 64 pixel things so you know when you see them on your screen uh, might be better if you imagine them like they're going to be closer to like this size you see how like this how big this is in my bag that that's how big it's supposed to look like but i'm just gonna i'm gonna blow them up a little bit so you guys can can see and we'll do it. We'll do a fun little game here. 
Uh, Haxer probably knows the answers to some of these, so Haxer, you're not allowed to guess. And I think Murag does too, because I'm really, I'm really uh, annoying when I'm making something, and I'll constantly say, "Hey, Murag, look at a thing, approve, approve me." Um, actually, yeah, I'm appreciating, I'm appreciating that too, Ricky Kings. We have two, we have two Murlocs just hanging out in the background dancing. Can anyone tell me what they believe I designed this icon to be? Now this is based off of the, uh, off of a, a very commonly used icon. If I see someone uh, guess it, I'll let you know if you guessed right. There's, there's no prize, except for the glory of being correct. Uh, the, uh, shipmate, uh, sh you and Alessandro guessed it at the same time. Yes, Ungoro Soil. Good. This is based off the, the Ungoro Soil thing, and I recolored and retextured it. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this isn't meant to be anything particular. I'm just showing this off because this is, um, this is based off of the very commonly used soup model. I just made another color variation in case they don't want to use some of my more zany designs. But yeah, there's nothing. So I didn't specifically say this is any one of them. But uh, there's no need to guess. I'm just showing them off. All right. This one, I think I... Okay, this one... This one, not many people are going to get. Just because... It's gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna be hard to know what the heck Vrograg was thinking when he made this. So the, the water breathing, yeah, the water, it, it's, it uses the water breathing icon, but it doesn't, um, I made this one to be, um, the aqual quintessence because the current aqual not the eternal but the aqual quintessence uses a style of potion that looks like uh mana potions i think um this this one this one might be easy to get Yep, fish oil. Exactly. Okay, you guys got it. <laughs> that, one, that Again, that one was easy. Uh, can I... Rem oh, do I even remember what this one was? Um, oh, I do. I do remember this one. This is going to be a hard one. This is a more difficult one. <laughs> yes, be a 101. It is not fish oil. Um... Uh, Pancata, that's not it. Uh, so this is, uh, this is meant to be this one you're seeing right now. I figured. It's a, you're okay, 101. Uh, th this one is meant to be a cerebral cortex solution. Which, for like, one class... Could be a mix-up, um, because the Cortex Solution and the Mongoose Elixir use the same icon. Um, shamans can sometimes mix this up, because a lot of times they use Cerebral Cortex Solution to have extra int, but might also be using Mongoose. Um, I suppose a Paladin might mix it up too, so I just made another purple vial. This could be used somewhere else too. Alright, this, this one, this one's fun. Uh, I don't think many people are going to get this. Just because, like, you see the shape and you think you know what it is. I'm going to tell you I have, uh, three or four of these. So. It is not Dragon Breath Chili. It is not Greater Shadow Power... Greater Shadow Protection Potion. It's not that. Although, I th I don't know if I did that one. I think I should have if I didn't. If I haven't, I will. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this one I made to me. Uh, actually, I can shoot because actually Vrograk has the recipe for it. The Denonzo's Telebim Delight. Uh, this is a spell power food, which, as you can see, uses a very common icon. Now, granted, th this is just what I said. Hey, this is what I designed it to be. The team may or may not do that. I don't know. Uh, this one's fun. <laughs> I, I I can't tell you guys enough how much fun I had making these. Like, it was just actually a blast. And if anyone who is really good with pixel art and maybe wants to make new stuff or is really good at recoloring, um, I can talk to you about how to maybe make some and maybe submit them, like how to go through the right channels. <laughs> Fell bread. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, I just got a whisper from Drew. How did I get to Lapidus Isle? Um, you fly there. If you're high enough level, I think you a flight point from Booty Bay to... I think if you're Horde, you go to Gil, Gilligems. And if you're Alliance, you go to Kalins or one or the other. But um, yeah, we're fishing southeast off of uh, Lapidus. Um, sorry, so, uh, this one right here, um, does Vrograk have this one? It's another one of the Denonzo ones. Uh, this is one of the Telebim foods. Uh, so the normal icon looks like this, which is used in a lot of stuff. And I just put green in there to make it distinct. Um, this one was me. I just made another one because I'm like, oh, this coloring tool is fun. Like, that's literally some, what some of these are. Don't, don't worry about this one. Uh, this one is my least favorite one I made. I had trouble recoloring the bread well. Uh, this is another Denonzo's one. Uh, because there's three uh, Telebim foods. There's one for spell power, one for haste, and one for ranged attack power. So I just want to make them visually distinct than their normal counterparts. All right, here's one that I think a lot of people will get. I would like to see what people guess, though. This this is personally my favorite one I did. I, I am almost positive people will get this one. When we finish up with the icons, we're going to go on a little bit of a, an adventure looking around the pirate areas here. Yeah, 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 Pancata. This one this one is Dragon Beth Chili. Absolutely. I don't know if you can notice it, but like on the... Um, like it, I, I was really happy with how I got the fire effect to look. So the, and, and it looks better, of course, like when it's smaller. Like when it looks like, uh, you know, like this or even smaller on your screen it just looks so much better so um i think we're about halfway through these uh this one i wouldn't expect anyone to get i just wanted to make dream shard elixir have a different look uh the icon it uses is very common it's used for like six or seven different things um i wasn't a fan of how this one came out i was using a different technique when i did it but at least it's visually distinct so uh, and this model for Icon isn't used very often. Um, I don't know if I can remember what I did. Oh, this one is Dream Shard Elixir. Um, which currently uses like a green version of this, which is used in other stuff. Uh, th this one is... Why, why did I put this one in here? Oh crap, Haxer, did I leave this one in here? This one shouldn't even be in there. This is just this is just sandworm dumplings. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um This I submitted two versions of, so I'll show you both versions. There's this and this. They're meant to be the same thing. I'd like to see if someone can guess these. Yes, Alessandro, I'm spoiling class changes right now, live. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. I don't think I, I, I if, uh, if you're the right class, you could, you could get it. I bet. Cause this is something, you know, much like a lot of things in communities, people that get inspired to do stuff for communities, like bump into stuff that bothers them. Yes. Shadow kidding. You got it. So if you've played a mage, uh, and have done molten core or BWL, you'll want to find these, right? These elixirs of frost power. And the problem is, is they look identical to elemental water and, and boy, is it tough when you think you have one and you don't, <laughs> uh, this one, uh, can I remember what this one was? Uh, oh, uh, this one, um, you guys probably wouldn't get, uh, yeah. Oh, also hacks I see the message. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's my, that's on me. That's on me. Uh, this one uh, is not Scorpok. This one's meant to be Essence of Pain. If you are a rogue. Well, let's see if I can find one here. It's... Uh, it's, it's um, oh, wait, no. I, yeah. So I made it to look like this. Essence of... Uh, I wanted Essence of Pain to look like this. I'm like, you know, if I'm, if I'm going hard in the paint, I could do that. Technically, Dust of Decay also uses the same icon, but you use Dust of Decay a lot less at higher levels, so it's not as much of an issue. So um, I'm like, oh, why don't I recolor Essence of Pain to something else? Um, this is another variant of Essence of Pain, although I think I also... You could argue that this could be used for Grave Moss. Um, this is the one I made for eternal quintessence now when it looks when it's next to like a um let me see if i can show one i don't think i have any mana potions i shouldn't um so major mana potion um the icon on this is even smaller i realize but um you can see like the color difference so like even smaller this one's a lot more a lot more vivid that was the hope anyway uh, some of them I tried to go hard. Some of them I tried to be more um, subtle with. This one is the one that I would prefer to have for Grave Moss. Because Moss is green. I understand like it's on a grave. So I, I left some of the gray in there. Um, this is my this is what I proposed for a new fire, a greater firepower protection potion. Um, this one, I kind of liked how it came out. Cause like, uh, oh, I think I still have some green artifacting in there. Eh, oh well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have it. I have it like when it's small, you don't really notice any of the, the smaller mistakes, but, uh, this one actually looks like it has fire in it. And I thought that was so cool. Um, this one I have for greater nature power elixir. Which again is something that affects me as an elemental shaman. Um, this, the normal icon for this, is that one that's used for everything. Uh, where is it? It's uh, well, not that. Let's go. What is going on? Um, I'll find it. Uh, it's this icon. This the essence of pain icon. So yeah, the greater elixir power, uh, greater nature power elixir is this one. So I'm like, I'll just use a green one. Cause again, like it helps to keep things distinct. Um, this is the one, it looks kind of trippy up close. As you can kind of see some of the red artifacting behind it, but uh, further away, it looks like a more muted green, which I really liked. And I wanted to have this one for um, greater nature protection potion because a normal, uh, nature protection. I might actually have one on me. No, I don't. But, uh, the normal illustration for that one is like a lot brighter green. So it could be much more easily distinguished. This is what I use for, uh, Scorpok assay. 
because yellow is the color of rogues and rogues love agility. So I'm like, it should be yellow. Plus the pincers are kind of yellow. So uh, this one is just Scorpok assay where like, I just like, what if I put some cool wispy effects on it to make it more distinct, uh, distinguishable? Uh, this one I threw in there. Uh, also, Haxer, if you saw this one, you're like, we already have that icon. Yes. However, this icon I found out is only used for like one quest item. This is a good supplement that could be used for magic dust, which uses the very common Ungoro soil icon. Uh, so I just, I wanted to like bring it to your guys' attention. Uh, this is, oh, wow. I really just left some, I left some images in there. I shouldn't have left. Whoopsie. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Uh, this was a variant I made for invisibility potion. Uh, invisibility potions look like greater arcane, uh, greater arcane power potions. So I thought to make them distinct. And here was like my document I wrote up, uh, this I have for limited invulnerability potion. Well, looks identical to Titan flasks. So I'm like, hey, let's use this model. It isn't used very often. Give it a different color. Whirl it up. Uh, this is what I had for lobster stew, by the way. Not, there's only a couple classes that would even bother lobster stew. But if you can look, I had fun making the little drips come out. I kind of wanted to have like a lobster claw in there somewhere, but I'm not good enough with art to trust myself. So I just did this. It also looks different enough. It could be used for something else. Um, this is a, this is what I made for lung juice, which is a blasted land buffs. The current icon is just this, but red, which is also used by black mouth oil. So I made this as a variant. Um, this is night fin soup. I took the blue and kind of turned it up. Wanted to kind of make it almost look like a moon well or like enchanted water. And as we know, water is the essence of mana. Uh, this is, this is also another, I'm like, well, what if I took that dumpling and made the chunks in there blue? And this is another version of knife in soup. <laughs> I, I don't like this one. I just thought it was kind of funny. So I put it in there. Uh, this is, uh, I made this for noggin fogger elixir, which currently looks like arcane protection potions or mana pots one or the other uh i made this for power mushroom um power mushroom and hardened mushroom have the same identical icon so i just made a slightly green one so you could distinguish them uh purification potion um i gave kind of like a green background too so you're kind of aware that it has curative effects uh this is like my second favorite one i made if you are a leather worker and you make, uh, what are they called? Uh, refined deep rock salt. If you read the tooltip on the salt shaker, the reason you're limited on using it is because it exposes you to radiation. So I'm like, why don't I put like little like radioactive light lines around it? Um, Cause this looks like arcane powder. Hold on. Looks like this stuff normally. So putting in the green line that makes it look different for all the leather working mages out there, all five of them. And this is what I made for restorative potion. Uh, not very commonly used, but uh, looks just like uh, the water uh, normally. And that one you can mix up pretty easily. Uh, this is a savory deviate delight I made and another savory deviate delight. Uh, this is the agility sweet mountain berry version I made. And then, and that's it. That was all my art. I forgot how many there were. Sorry if that was boring. Uh, good luck in, uh, Nax Alessandro. Uh, Frederick, um, I would consider it, but it's not my call because I'm not, I'm not turtle wow's art director. <laughs> Um, by and large, many of their things are color coded in a way, but it's not like perfect, right? Um, all right. Okay. Anyone who wants to go for a little adventure, 
Um, there are some fun islands here I want to explore while we're here. So, uh, finish up your fish casts if you want to join and you're a murloc up on the hill dancing. Uh, you can come down here. We'll group up. Get your, get your fighting gear on. We'll group up and, uh, and do some stuff. All right, don't need that. And we will put on, oh, this is my swimming gear, I think. Sorry, you're seeing mostly naked orc here. And what do we want for this? Okay, so Drew, let me start by inviting you. <laughs> that should help. Um, all right, let's go for so DPS. There it is. Okay, good. We have we have combat on. Um, all right, you join the party. Um, we'll get Solaria in here. Looks like Wisebeard is ready to fight. Shipmate. All right. I realize I completely disabled my party frames, so no one knows, but I think if I do it on, if I convert to raid, I think people can be seen. All right, there it is. Got my oranges, beautiful. All right, so, um, oh wait, I didn't get insert, did I? There you go, I'll get you in, buddy. Uh, first, we're going to check out this island. There's like a some kind of a giant on there. Make sure everyone's all set. That's a little swim there, and then we can go check out the little pirate cove. I haven't done a lot of exploring over here, and this is all new custom context, so. All right. There is no RP walk speed for swimming. Sadly. All right, let me see if I can change the music here. Cause we're not we're not chilled out fishing anymore. We're we're fighting. We're scrapping. Streaming music. I usually use this one. All right. Oh, insert says there's a cove to the north of some danger. There are a lot of dangerous foes around here, if I'm being honest. There's some spots. I'm trying to go to some of the spots no one knows about. Also, come on. There it is. All right. I still have that issue with my camera clipping and then forcing. Hold on. This giant has been stealing all the fish around here. I won't stand for it. I'm going to pickpocket him first. Okay. Worked. Oh, jeez. I have fishing on my one. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see what we got. Just some silver. Hold on. I gotta spit on this guy because he took all of our fish. That's the new lore. That's what you get for ruining my fishing spot. All right, gang, my blood is burning. Let's go see about those pirates. Uh, yeah, and I, I see Haxer and uh, uh, Frederick talking about the icons. Yeah, they are all over the place. Um, you'll also note that every single one of the things I propose are just the consumable icons. I don't even want... I mean, I could broach the topic, but I know making buff icons different will probably bork some add-ons. Oh, that's a good idea, Haxer. I never thought of that. 
I should probably do uh, uh, Haxer says I should make a macro that when I'm fishing, well, sorry, when I have a fishing pole, it'll fish, and when I'm not, I'll just do my normal standard attack stuff. Yeah, I, and you know, one of the reasons too, I mean, and I will I will give credit for the team, people like Haxer and other people on the team have like openly asked uh, the community like, hey, like we're working on improving the UI. Do you guys have suggestions? And you know, if you have the suggestion, that's your opportunity to just say a million things, but respectfully, but say a million things. All right. All right. I mean, we gotta get on one of these ships, right? Um, are there's like is there anything important here? All right, I'll ping this. I think there is like an elite coal car that wanders around here. Oh, hey, it's Drew. Hey, Drew. Drew's here. Drew, make sure to say hi to my number one fan. Drew's son is my number one fan, by the way. Sorry, everyone, if you think you're the number one. Sorry. Murag, you're not even in the running. Yeah, you guys should kill all of these guys. They're very dangerous. Just don't worry about me pickpock- Oh, no, he found out I was pickpocketing all of them. <laughs> I'll do what rogues do best. Uh, while well, the tanks are killing stuff in a, in a square area, a rogue goes off to the side and kills it for himself. Hey, yeah, you stay away from the mage. Uh, Drew also, by the way, is like a Nax geared tank, so he's probably just getting tickled by these pirates. Yeah, I'm gonna check to make sure they don't have any uh, contraband. Yep, no contraband. I checked because I pickpocketed them. They're good. Oh yeah, get the helmsman. Then they won't know where to go. It's a shame no one's a warlock. This would be great for warlocks. These are all green mobs for a... Uh... Ooh, is that an elite? Oh, this is. Ooh, I found a target. Yeah. First mate, McGillicuddy. Dead. I'm sorry if, we're, if anyone was questing here and needed these guys, I apologize. Hopefully they'll respawn quickly. Oh, they're in the lower decks, I think. Shipmate. Also, shipmate, very apropos. Oh, jeez. Now I'm sneaking around, sneaking around, baby. Anything here? I'm actually checking out their stuff to see if they put anything like new or unusual in here. You know, you never know. Ooh, blast counter peg. What's in you? Oh, okay, you're probably a quest item. No, oh, an actual fight's happening. I guess we have Drew here. I mean, I could probably tank them too, but... Alright, this probably ends up being a quest item. Nothing too crazy here. Alright. Uh, there... Galley? Or is it hold? The galley's a place you make food. There... Hold... Checks out. No fish. Let's check the next ship. Looks like there's no respawns. We should be good to pop out. Not that not that we're having particularly any issue fighting these guys. <laughs> well, why can't I jump back up? There it is. All right. I'll I'll stick to the land. There's more guys to beat up. I got insert in the group. 
You don't have to fight them. I'm going to pickpocket them. <laughs> Yeah. I really gotta start fighting these guys. I, I think they have good pickpocket table, pick tables. Hack, sir. That's mean to say. Also, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't think I have a problem being vocal. It's sometimes nice to let people that don't say a lot have a chance to say something. So it's perfectly fine if they have that conversation without me. I will necro the crap out of it if they say something crazy about rogue tanking. Oh, hold on, guys. Look at this guy. I'm the leader. Hold on. I can do this. A coal car. Here? Oh, he actually has 5,000 hit points. Wow. Ah, uh, he's probably a quest mob, too. <laughs> yep, Weisberg's like, yeah, it's a quest mob. Oh, actually, you know what? I should also check one thing quickly. I am streaming, and sometimes when I stream, um, I miss it, and I don't want to miss it. Yeah, sometimes, I gotta be careful, because sometimes Riddle will just drop, like, amazing illustrations. And then I find out, like, way, way too late. That's okay, we're clear. The coast is clear, everyone. Alright, yeah, you distract them. I'm gonna look for their fish. They're clearly, they're clearly hiding the fish. They can't get me. I have Oh, wait. I hit the wrong button. Where's the fish? Show me where the fish is. Oh, there's a... Oh, shit. Hey, hey, careful. All right, there it is. Uh, hold on. Let's see. I... I had a uh, coward tell me where they are holding the fish stores. It's the next boat. I'm going to pretend, whether or not the fish are in the boat, I'm going to pretend it's where it is. Monsters taking my fish. All right. Um, I think there's oh, there is one more boat, right? Yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. Where is everyone else? Oh, they're already they're already starting. Drew's on the ship. It's all right. Um, you know, Frederick, I'm actually glad you asked that. Um, Riddle, um, has a, uh, a PayPal link and commissions and does take commissions. Oh, last I checked, it was $1 for a drawing and is, I think $3 for like an animated GIF. Um, if you're curious and would like some of uh, Riddle's fabulous illustrations, stuff like this, um, you can uh, find his. You can find him on Twitter. His handle is Riddle of Lightning on Twitter. Uh, you can find a link to his uh, cute, fun, and smile-inducing uh, illustrations there. Uh, I'm of course am a big fan myself, and I and I use his work for some of my news programs. And I, I actually pay him. Sometimes, usually, when I remember. <laughs> Love you, Riddle. It's hard, because Riddle is one of those...
tons of people who just really just likes making doodles to make people happy. And so sometimes he'll, oh wait, this is a, what? He has special, he has special alcohol. Nice. Um, so sometimes, uh, I got to remind Riddle I need to pay him. <laughs> uh, Flourish is in game right now, Haxer. Currently what it does, as you'll see on the tooltip, it increases your parry by 20% and it has a 40 second cooldown. The previous iteration of it was... Well, technically, the previous iteration was it had a 400 second cooldown. Uh, but before that, it had no cooldown. It acts as a finisher. Uh, furthermore, um, Slice and Dice doesn't prove how long it lasts. So, it that this is for some reason part of the equation when thinking about Flourish. Um, and when tanking with it, it's a pain in the butt because it's pretty much the only finisher you can reliably use without cooldowns. Don't worry, Shadow Kitten. Your secret's safe with me. I won't tell anyone that Riddle is the best hunter in our guild. <laughs> yes, fight to, fight to get to the hold, everyone. I know the fish are down here this time. Okay, ready? We're going to RP. Well, well, well. What do we have here? You lot deserve what's coming to you for stealing all of me mates, fish. And then emote Vrograg grabs crates of fish. Let that be a lesson to ya. All right, now I'm gonna RP walk out of here. Uh, uh, close to unpronounceable name. I'm gonna call you Ristostiz. Uh, yeah, I'm decently geared. I have a Thunder Fury tier three. I'm doing okay. I have an Iblis <laughs> DFT. Um, I'm not Biss yet. I don't really raid on Vrograg anymore anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good, you could say. Uh, as, as Zoomers would say, I'm stacked. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick, quick speech about liberating fish on the gal, on the board here. The fish belong to the common folk, you swine. Don't make me and my crew have to come back again. There it is. <laughs> all right, we're on this side. Um, all right. Uh, now there was someone in, was it insert? There was someone in group that said they knew of strong enemies up to the north. Uh, Risto Stiz, yes, I am a reporter. But, uh, I have multiple gear sets. And I am a secret min-maxer. I mean, listen, you want to check the parses? I have the best news parse on the server. I am the, like, pink parse. And, like, you could technically say Akalix has a good parse, but guess what? Um, he's cheating because he knows all the information and he isn't giving it to you. Um, that's why the secret part. <laughs> yeah. And, and honestly, a reporter, I, I feel a rogue makes sense for a reporter because they're in they can, they can RP as information dealers. 
Also, I can go to allied uh, alliance cities sometimes and not die right away. <laughs> I am not a top parser. Even when I was a rogue, I was never a top parser. I mean, I'm, I'm an okay parser on elemental. Um, all right. So let me see. Someone here spoke of some strong foes up north. Who uh, was that? Speak up. Lead on, insert. Let the light guide you to our next victory. Also, I'm completely down for RP walk. It just, it's just tough because of swimming. <laughs> Oh man, I've been on, you guys don't know this, I've been on point with my cough button. Morag knows the truth. Although I think Haxer's being too nice, part of me really wants to screen cap that he wrote that and then, and then put it in my happy thoughts folder. No, um, no, and Frederick, I, I, I do, I, I've said this before and I, I want to make sure, I'll always repeat this just to make it abundantly clear. I do have a GM account. The GM account I have is what's called a media GM account. So all it can do is be invisible and teleport. That That is the extent of its ability. It's... I essentially have a camera, which is probably should, should be what the team calls it. I have a camera. And I didn't, I wasn't like, I didn't start with one either. Like I initially, and if you guys look at like the um, credits on my news reports now, you'll still see it. I used to just use Obomsawim as my camera operator because Torns are a little taller and they gave a good angle for Vrograg. And I would just use Obomsawim with um, like I would do Alt Z like this to get rid of my UI and then use OBS to just record the machinima. Uh, and then like after a while of doing that, the team noticed my work and they're like, hey, like, is there anything we could do to help you? We like your work. And I'm like, there's a lot of things I'd like to record that I can't because I can't physically get there. I'd like to do like panning shots. I would like, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff. They're like we can get you set up with a media GM account. And that's that's basically how I got it. Um, I have used it before to, um, like I've seen something suspicious. I thought there was like hackers or cheaters one time, or like one or two times, I think. And like, I did that while I was on like my normal characters. And I, I have used my GM tune to like look into that, to see if they were cheating and then report it. But outside of that, I've almost exclusively used it as a way to do, um, camera work and recording i even have uh i have the same thing on the telebim server too i think i caught like some footage of like the server first rag kill and uh i caught some footage of a what are the uh the, the karazan reaver dude um there's like a long protracted battle that happened a couple months back that i caught some footage of Shamans are fun to play. I I will I will it's not controversial. It's it's not even like something crazy to say. You can choose to play shamans in a boring way. <clears throat> and that's and that's perfectly fine. Like if you that's how you want to play. But um the skill ceiling for being a good shaman in any respect, whether you're tanking, doing DPS, or healing, the skill ceiling is probably some of the highest in the game. Um, and I, can, I I have said this before and I will say it again. I cannot impress upon everyone how nuts it is 
that on this server, in this current iteration of the game, we had Shock Warden be a main tank for patchwork. A Shaman was a main tank for patchwork. That is so crazy you don't even understand. Um, there is a, there is going to be a, someone's, uh, I think, uh, Frederick's talking about it. Uh, there is going to be a, um, the gates opening event, I think is, I think there were some announcements about it, uh, from Acolix sometime this week about when it's going to be happening. Um, I think it's the 19th, is it maybe? So it's going to be soon for Telebim. I'm very excited for them. That's that's a really cool, fun event that's going to happen. Uh, I wonder who's going to get their uh, their black mount or whatever. Do we have to go? Can we go up and around? Is that possible? Sorry. Um, I'll probably uh, give that a shout out in the next news to let everyone know. Yeah, exactly. I think I think there's still some. T oh, okay, guys, careful. These guys actually will slap and hurt. Don't pull a bunch. I don't even know if we have a healer with us, and Drew isn't here, so we could actually be in trouble. <laughs> be careful. Could we have shipmate, maybe healing or insert? Yeah, just be careful. Um, if you want to, I can try tanking. Uh, if I get some, uh, do I have agitating poison on me? Oh, I don't have any on me right now. Um, if you want, you can let me tank. I don't get hit very often. Um, but I would say prioritize killing. Oh, your tank's back. Okay, perfect shipmate. Don't worry about it. I'll just try to stun lock casters then. Because you have things like taunts. Um, I'm currently in a tank spec, but it's the difference between, the, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh yeah, Frish, Frish, I'll get you in. Also, if anyone else shows up, just shoot me a whisper if you want to join. Frisch, I invited you. Oh, oh, you hit that guy before the group got in. Okay, gotcha. I should probably stop being in a RP walk speed. Look at this guy. This guy thinks he can hit me. He thinks he can hit me. Uh, who has been doing healing for us? Is it, uh, shipmate, I think? Here you go. I got a mana potion. Here you go, friend. <laughs> it's next to useless for you, but... Um, also, oh, I can sap. I have improved sap, guys. Check it out. Check, it, check this out. Improved sap. Yeah. See? I didn't pull combat. Um, we need someone to pull that guy, though. Ah, oh, you did- you knocked my sap out right away. You- you jerk. Oh, these aren't even elites. That was silly. All right, let me just. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll. Uh... Oh, these are all non-elites. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's a chieftain here, huh? So were those were those the only elites? But well, insert said he was going to be the leader here. He knows his way around. He said he knew of tough enemies. Look at this guy. This guy thinks he's all that. Oh, look, you're stun locked. What are you going to do? Oh, wow. Tough to be that guy. Insert said there's there's a rare spawn fish thief, which is that true, Insert? Oh, I, I'm oh also this guy has 20k, so don't just be careful. <laughs> I'll be I'll be kicking. I should probably have a threat meter, huh? And he's not immune to stun, so that's good. No, he's a giant like the one we killed earlier. His brother, I think, is... Oh my god, really? That's so cool. I'll have to make a, I'll have to make a point to find him and kill him at some point. 
Um, I see Haxer and Frederick still talking about the AQ gates opening. Yeah, it did happen a long time ago on Northern R. So like, <laughs> some things might just be like lost to time. Lead on insert. This is fun. We're we're uh, getting troll sweat, but where is insert? Wait, insert insert's not even here. Oh, okay. I guess I'm the leader then. All right. We'll check this out. Ooh, look at this guy. He's got the cool claw model. All right, let's, uh, wait, are we all 60? Ye yes, okay. You know, uh, Whereas, yeah, I, I would say based on uh, what I've seen and been dealing with behind the scenes, um, it is not personal. Um, from what I know, there's a lot of stuff I can't leak. But from what I know, the team, the team has, like, put a stupid amount of work on their plate for something uh, that they haven't even announced yet. And the fact I know what they're up to. And, um, it is nuts to think that they're trying to do that while also manage a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, if you ever feel like, oh, hey, we're kind of an afterthought. I mean, you are an afterthought in that, uh, the team is, like, just put way too much on their plate. And, uh, they barely have enough time to think about anything else. Uh, Nordenar's been the same, th same way, too. Um, like... If you look at how many points have been in the change log, it can kind of show you how much attention's being spent on like new stuff versus old stuff. Um, and I do know, I would probably say uh, from what I like behind the scenes, probably your biggest champion is Akalix. Akalix I know has done a lot of advocating for like uh, support, new interesting things going on in Telebim. And, uh, it's, uh, it, I, you know, I was, I was talking to, to Marag about this, like, there's like this strange, uh, thing that happens. Wait, I have improved sap. Why did that happen? Oh, wait, no, I don't have it fully talented. Dang it. Um, where with PVP servers, there are some people that like, Oh, cool. Look, I'm hexed. Leave me like this. I want to be a frog. Until it's over. All right. Um, there's an interesting thing that happens with... When there's, like, a, a big glut of, like, a bunch of, like, really toxic people that make the server bad. Uh, after they're gone... You know, because they push a bunch of people off the server... Then, like, there's going to be people that are still remaining that are like, bring more people, bring more people here. And part of my head, part of my mind is like, well, now, now are you feeding the trolls? <laughs> Afterthought is funny for Germans. Ass thought. Really? Is that a German joke I don't get, Wisebeard? No, and and Frederick, I, I I don't think I like saying Frederick. Lorazi is hard to say, even though I it's easier to type. <laughs> don't worry, guys. They can't hit me. They've never dealt with an orc this quick. If you look at the left side, you can see parry, parry, dodge. It helps that I am substantially higher level than them. After is a word for ass. Oh, okay. Oh, I got I got you. Well, 
Well, I, so I think, I think the, the problem is, uh, Frederick, I think the problem that the team is having is that they want to line things up such that when your phasing's done, the new content will be out so that you're not perpetually always behind. So in order to do that, they have to understand when they are planning on having other content done. And because there's multiple phases, it's really hard to like plan that well. I think, honestly, that's part of it. Um, and I think that could be communicated better. I could double check with Aklix that that, that that's, that's, is the case. Um, roughly, I'm pretty sure like uh, that was the impression I got. Have we been through? Oh, yeah. Let's just go down this drag right here, guys. This, this straightaway here. I'll get the defender on the left. She can't stop me. Parry. You can't hit me. Flourish. You can't hit me. Hex. Now you can hit me. Wee! I'm a frog! <laughs> Best day of my life. Ribbit. Ribbit. It's crazy to me that Troll Shaman don't have that. Who's this? Who who did who this be? Um. Wait, is that your? Okay, hold on. Wait, Frisch. I know you. I know what you're saying, but I thought it was broken. I actually don't know. Do they actually have it? By the way, I want everyone to know. Look at this item right here. I am not joking. I literally have pushed in the past and will continue to push in the future for rogues to have the ability to use wands. This has agility. And I have I have a very long-winded case where our rogues should have wands, but <laughs> I'm just showing that there is already items that exist that they could use. Uh no, I I Kois, I've talked about this a little bit before in other streams, but pretty much um when and if I try Epoch, it's probably going to be a couple months after it releases. I really don't like catching a big wave of anything. I like letting things die down, letting a bunch of uh, bugs get worked out. Um, yeah. Who's this guy? A scavenger, huh? I bet you have good loot on you if I pickpocketed you. Alright, and you? Oh, this guy just doesn't care. Look at him. He just killed his buddy. I don't think dual wands. <laughs> no, like, so... I struggle with this a lot, trying to make my points concise. I will try to make my point about rogue wands concise. Guys, let's try to escape out the back end here. Uh, I think we can get around. Hold on, careful this guy. So, there's a long history with, uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry. First, we'll acknowledge that many things in WoW, especially vanilla era WoW, are largely inspired and informed by uh, Dungeons and Dragons. You can see this in the DNA of the rogue class, which is meant in many ways, shape and form to be like the D&D thief of second edition or third edition. I can demonstrate this quite easily by showing you uh, that they have things like, uh, or is that in subtlety? Uh, detecting traps, uh, disarming traps, stealth, backstabbing. These are all cornerstones of, of a thief in early Dungeons and Dragons. To this end, one thing that is missing from their kit is an ability that colloquially is known as using magic device or tricking magic device. This is something that a character um, at a tabletop session would say, hey, um, yeah, I'm not magically trained, but it's not that hard. Like, I know the magic word. 
and so you can effectively get a magic item to work for you as though you had the magical ability latent needed to activate the item um in early DD, this would be usable on scrolls this would be usable on other magical devices and as well as wands now currently scrolls anyone can use magic devices people can just right click on them wands remain something that are exclusive to spellcasting classes for this reason i think there should be a way for rogues who carry the torch of the traditional thief to be able to use wands now do i think there should be limitations on this yes um i think the ability should perhaps have a cooldown and should have a drawback to represent the early um when you so traditionally when you would use a magic device in early D, &D you would have what's called a like a um a, like a feedback failure or like a, a mistake when you play with magic you don't fully understand bad things can happen so i think it would be fun to perhaps have a drawback to using a wand or a potential for a backfire um why do i think rogue should have this um well first off they shouldn't have auto shoot let me make that clear um it should be like how they have shoot gun they have to click every time that's important rogues are specialists if you look we have a tree called assassination we are good at studying our targets and knowing how to hit them right where it hurts if we know an opponent is weak to a certain type of elemental damage we would do whatever we could to get access to that elemental damage include using a wand uh so for, for that reason i think rogues should have some way to utilize wands and, and that that is that is as concise a point as i can make i know it's not D, &D hackser i'm sorry but my my fighter thief wizard and cleric i'm sorry i meant warrior rogue priest and mage are going to go do a dungeon now they literally named a patch after gary gygax it is not D, &D but the inspiration is clear the creative borrowing is obvious Yeah, no, uh, Frish, of course. Of course, Frish, I would farm up my... Also, you act you act like I don't have Cold Rage Daggers. How dare you? Maybe I got rid of them? No, I didn't. Hold on. Cold. Look at that. I got two. All right. How dare you, sir? <laughs> <clears throat> um, I have... Uh, one other uh, thing, uh, one other point I wanted to talk about on the fishing chat today. We can do a little bit of fishing before we wrap up. Some people look out ahead out for raid too, so. Um, does anyone know of something that other streamers do with um, certain games called crowd control? Does it has anyone heard of crowd control? Um, if you haven't, the concept behind it is that you will, um, the streamer is trying to play something and stream chat can interact in certain ways to make it easier or to make it harder and generally the way it's run is like you you pay like a buck while someone's speed running super mario 64 and when you pay a buck they turn into a stop sign <laughs> that for instance there's a lot of different ways it can be rolled out but <clears throat> so i was looking i was interested in this concept and i think it'd be really fun except i don't 
I don't know what would be a good way to do it for Turtle Wow. Because um, generally what you want to do is you want to have some kind of a challenge. Some kind of a thing you're trying to do. And then the idea is you have people in stream mess with you. Or help you. And then the story is whether or not... Like, like the tension of the stream is whether or not the, the, the player can do the thing, right? So, obviously one of them would be something like leveling up a character, but leveling up a character would be very, very, very long. And... Sorry, hold on. I see uh, Lorazia says, Do you know if the mechanist, Mechanist's Bone Chopper replica is also insane for Rogue? I've never heard of this. Um, and no, Thalaria. <laughs> I wouldn't do hardcore. I would just get killed all the time. <laughs> no. Um, but I, anyway, I'm thinking about doing something along those lines. Uh, Lorazia, yeah, I'll look into that bone chopper thing. Get back to you. Oh, thank you. Insert. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, wounds the target for 20 damage. Um, it's probably... Decent for rogues because we hit a lot. I don't know where it's from. I could maybe try getting it and messing around with it. I have Bash Gooder. <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, because I don't think uh, leveling up a character like from like 1 to 60 would be a super long stream and just wouldn't be very watchable, uh, I had a. The idea I was working with uh, was doing zones. So, for example, I would have some kind of a challenge where Vrograg would have to go to every sub-zone in a zone and do something. Almost like a relay race, if you're aware. Um, you know, start in Caverns of Time, do something in Caverns of Time, go to South Break, uh, Break Shore, and work my way around, and then I would finish when I get to Steam Weedle Port. Now, obviously, if I walk up and try to do anything in Tenaris with this gear, it's not going to be difficult. So... <clears throat> Uh, like what? Tenaris is like level like what? Early 40s? So what I would do is I could maybe only wear gear that's level 40-ish. Whether it's gray or white or only greens. And then I would try to accomplish tasks in Tenaris. I would only be able to use gold that I got from then, I'd only be able to use gear I got from the run. And um, I would have other limitations. Like I would only have, I would have a talent spec that is only 40 gold. Or it's not 40 gold, rather. Uh, 40 talent points to like represent that I'm still level 40. And then I'd want to see how long it would take or if I could even do it. So that that's what I've been cooking up behind the scenes. Um, Lorazius has, has a proc per minute of 30? It procs 30 times a, a minute? Hey, yo, where, where did, where's that sword? Um, I have been to Gilneas Haxer. We went fishing there once, I believe. That would be a good zone to do a challenge in. Like, I could only wear level 30 gear, and I could only have, um, um, what would it be? 
I guess, 20-ish talent points. <clears throat> but that, that, was a, that was an idea I, I was working on. I still got to develop it. Yes, see, insert, you get it. You, Yep, okay, insert already knows. He says, gear up as much as possible in a zone and finish the dungeon in that zone using only the gear you acquired. Yeah. And, and so to make it difficult, I would do things like, if I die, I have to reset. Or if, uh... It, the, the, the problem is, is like getting a group, but um, something like that would be fun. And I would allow players to be like around me and they could interfere on the server. Um, but all I would ask is that they remain flagged so that if someone really wants to start killing mobs around me to make something more difficult for me to do, they could. But other players could fight back on them if they wanted. I'm just saying, I'm just saying th there's something there and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep working on this and refining this idea. All right. Uh, Lorazia. I haven't tried doing vamp. Haxer, have you tried doing full vampirism build on rogue? Hey, let me show you something, Haxer. Wh where am I putting this new gear, dude? Wh where am I putting the gear? Do you see my bags? I mean, yeah, I have a couple slots left. <laughs> I I can't afford to get a new a new gear set. <laughs> I think I have the biggest bags you can have. I think some of them might be lore masters rather than the portable wormhole or whatever. But yes, Haxer, I can clean up. I I, I mean, listen. But this, this, this is, I need all this stuff for fishing. I mean, I have fish here. I have some, I mean, yeah, there's, there is some junk here. Yeah, a lot of junk. I, I need the linen cloth, by the way, so I can use my disguises. Oh, look, this requires linen. Yes, exactly, Haxer. The, the, toy the toy tab will help me. Avoid storage. I don't... I mean, Haxer, I agree that it's worth bringing up to class council, but I feel like it doesn't really fall under the purview of a class dynamic. <laughs> Be careful what you want, guys, too. When you wish for, like, bigger banks, bigger bags, sometimes when you try to do things in the client, unexpected things happen that you don't want to have happened. We'll just consider it a big W if we can get hunters to have more pets, all right? Let's start there. I feel for the hunters. In that one respect only. Everything else, I don't care. Yeah, well, Haxer, you said that too about about the ban about um, hunter pets. Oh my, Koi's that that's a million dollar idea right there. Koi said I would make another system to save space, something like a dresser. Uh, like real talk about 30 I, I would say a hundred almost a hundred percent of the greens you see here like not like the marks but the gear is is just stuff i use for tmog oh man having a dresser would be amazing just up and you could only store gear in there and only gear that would be visual so you can't store like extra necklaces in there Oh, and then you could, oh, and you, you could just throw on whatever. 
<clears throat> well, okay, Haxer, you say that, but here's the thing. Maybe I don't want my rogue tier 3 to look like my fishing gear. And the reason I keep that green gear around is because I have multiple... I have multiple outfits. Look at many outfits I have. This is a problem. Th this is the problem. I have a separate one. I have a reporter outfit for when it's cold outside. I have daggers, fire maw, fist rogue. When I'm doing patchwork tanking. When I'm RPing as the fish slayer. My normal reporter gear. When I'm doing solo tanking. When I'm doing sword DPS. Now, this is slightly different when I'm a news anchor rather than a reporter. I also have beach party and swimming. And, and winter veil. I can't have all of that. I can't keep constantly transmogging stuff and have like one outfit. Uh, yeah, hacks or something like that. But uh, what I'm saying is something like a dresser could work to that end. Where you have a storage that just holds clothing that you've never sold and is soul bound to you. Um, just because the sheer amount of coins that I would need. Uh, sorry, the, the amount of outfits I want to have outpaces the storage space I have. And that would help because... Um, I can't speak for every class, but I know for hybrids, this is a real issue. If you have a healing, melee DPS, tanking, range DPS, and you have four gear sets, that's a lot. And then if some of them need resistance sets, you're looking at having a full bank before you even finish the game. Oh, that's, that's true. I, I, I'm with you on that one, Frederick. Lorazia. Removing a fashion coin shouldn't require a coin. Yeah, you just scrape it off. Get your coin back. It doesn't require a coin to revert. Oh, it's, uh, that is true. It doesn't cost a coin to revert. I'm thinking you should get a refund. <laughs> if you if you have a piece of gear you've T-mogged and you want to get your coin back, I feel like you should just like... Just like take like a little knife and just scrape it off. And uh, yeah, so it doesn't cost anything to revert a T-Mog. If you want to change it to something else, it does cost a coin. And I'm only saying that because Murag's sitting next to me, and since she's my wife, she she actually cannot be wrong. That's that's actually a scientific fact. And if she is, you have to take it up with her. Is I'm not arguing. But that's that's also what I remember. All right. Haxer, shut up. She doesn't know about that. <laughs> Spoil. I can't. I don't even think Haxer could. Oh, like I, like, I can't because I just don't know. Haxer might be able to, but... Just because someone's on the team doesn't mean they get to know everything. Like, even if you have access to the PTR, it doesn't mean they're even on the same branch of the PTR. Well, they could be working on completely different stuff. Um, Haxer does a lot of uh, work that isn't necessarily the same thing as, like, creating a new zone necessarily, you know? Everyone has specialized skills in a lot of respects. The spoilers you want, you want to bug Dragonovi. When you see Dragonovi, that's the person who likes spoiling stuff. Hacker's Hacker's a good cookie and will actually ask permission before dropping things. <laughs> it, 
Um, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, hackers. It wasn't even mentioned on the roadmap. Yeah, and sometimes there's stuff that's mentioned on roadmaps and in patch notes that doesn't even make it in, and then there's stuff that isn't mentioned that does get in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Quest does like leaking stuff too. How 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 soon do I forget? With Acolix, they're like calculated though. They're different. Um, did anyone see that there was Shaman Tier Two for Enhancement Lake? Did anyone see? Is anyone curious in seeing that? I can grab it. Let me see if I have it it's here somewhere. Well, presumably it's for Enhancement, but. I'll let, let y'all. Doesn't have set bonuses. Doesn't have set bonuses. Let me just start there. Um, oh, that was leak two. Let's save that. Um, uh, new folder leaks. I'll grab a couple things. And. Oh, do they not have the. Oh, crap. Where did I see that? Hmm. A lot of stuff gets leaked in theory crafting, but um, they also do a lot of talking in theory crafting. Oh, wait, I remember right now I, where I saw it. Okay, I got it. And thank you for bearing with me. You got to grab this stuff from all over the place, you know? Bring up the picture now. Stream picks, leaks. All right, and can I bring that up? Done. And okay, first one. This is the one I was mentioning. Uh, let me see if I can stretch it out a little bit. Uh, Pancata, I really vibe with your assessment that it can be really negative. I also like to take regular breaks. <laughs> um, so th this is shown in a couple places i i can't vouch for its authenticity um let me see if also oh, i've realized i cut off part of what's in there um i could tell you that that is not what normal shaman tier 2 hat does two percent critical strike and one percent hit with 20 strength and nine agi Yo, um, and then the other one, this one I am more suspicious of. Um, although excited about because I'm an elemental shaman, but. So one common complaint from Boomkins and from elementals is that we, we don't have a mage blade. This, this looked like a mage blade to me. I guess we get to have a mage blade. Show hunter bow model quite a bit further up too. Also, what on earth is the black redacted? I don't know. Well, 
Haxer, when we say people wanted spell fist weapons, by people we mean boomkins and shamans. Because we don't generally, like we had, there was like some spell daggers that are okay, but getting a main hand offhand this good is is powerful. The Claw of Chromagus, I think, is still classified as a dagger, which is also kind of strange. It's like, well, it says claw on it, but it's a dagger? Okay. Um, so sometimes it's just stuff like that. There's a black redacted after 120 in it. Why is there a black box? There's a black box? What? Where? Where's the black box? It's all, I mean, it's all black, but it's this kind of vaguely purplish. There's a number missing in the thousands. Um, yeah, I mean, clearly this was edited. And it's, look at that. Oh no, it's all a lie. I see what you mean now. Al Kazeth. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably fake. Can still want it though. <laughs> yeah, Trico redacted something. All right. Um. 128 times no all right i'm gonna wrap it up for uh with with that fun note um let's see uh schedule wise just to keep everyone in the loop uh where is my calendar so next weekend is the 20th um next weekend Murag, i'm here but the weekend after is... So for the 27th, I'm here? Two? Okay. Um, so... Uh, probably, I'm looking to do something big on the 27th. If I end up doing a T-Mog competition, it's probably going to be for the 27th. If I do a face reveal, it's probably going to be for the 27th. Um... I think that's I think I'm zeroing in on like that's that's the date for the anniversary celebration because the 25th is the day of the one year anniversary of the channel. So um Uh yeah, Larazia, I I'm curious. Thank you. Oh, let me uh hold on, wait. Let's see if I can get that uh I gotta get that I I gotta get that song to play again. For when I say for when I say goodbye. Alright. Um here it is. Oh, I like the first version better, I think. Alright. So uh yeah. Should have another news episode this Tuesday. Expect to hear some stuff. I'm going to try to get what information I can for Telebim about how the gate opening is going to be happening. Thinking about ways to talk about stuff that's going on in the class, change council, discord, without leaking anything. There's plenty of stuff going around. I'll see you in game. I'm definitely, I'm going to be raiding Nax tonight, hopefully. Obama's one's all loaded up and ready to bear. Um, I'm sure I'll catch you, uh, if, if not uh, in-game, then uh, Tuesday. Uh, still still would like to stream something else, uh, whether it's Velerin with the new patch, or the... Uh, what was the other game I want to play? Uh, Velerin. May, also, maybe more Shadows of Doubt. I actually had a lot of fun with that, so we'll see. So, until then, everyone, take care of yourself while you're playing a video game don't forget to have fun 
And as always, the deadliest weapon is knowledge. Sure. 